Hey guys, it's Brie, and if you guys can see, when I blink, my eyes are rainbows today. A few days ago, Lady Gaga's new album came out, Born This Way, and I listened to it, and I was so inspired. I just loved it. And so, I had this incident when I was in middle school and I had on this little rainbow shirt. I actually have a video that I filmed recently. It's a tag video and I talk about this so I won't go into it but I wore a rainbow shirt and I was so made fun of when I was in middle school. I was pushed around and called faggot and it was such a traumatic experience for me and when I listened to the new album it just it spoke to me. And when you're in middle school, you don't know that just a rainbow t-shirt can represent hate. And I got out my makeup and I said, you know, for years and years and years, I would not wear rainbows or anything because I was, you know, man called faggot. I think that entire rest of that year, people, you know, would point and say fag. So I have a new rainbow shirt. This is my Juicy Couture rainbow shirt. And I figured that after listening to this album, I was going to wear my rainbows loud and proud. Isn't that the first thing that people see? You know, especially if it's like loud, makeup-y, rainbow eyes. So I wanted to do my Lady Gaga slash Rainbow Bright tutorial for you. And I don't have to be afraid of people making fun of me anymore. I love rainbows. I always have. Rainbow Bright was pretty much my favorite cartoon growing up as a kid, and I've always, always loved it. So this is my rainbow tutorial because we were born this way, baby. Put your paws up, little monsters. Thank you for watching my video, and away we go. Oh, I also wanted to mention, in this video, I use the Shadow Insurance from Too Faced. I've actually done this look for a couple of consecutive days since the album came out, and I think that the Urban Decay Primer Potion is a little bit better for this particular look, even though I absolutely love, love, love the Shadow Insurance. This is the one that you need to use for this video. So, carry on. Thanks! Okay, so I'm filming in a different bathroom. This is actually uh, my grandmother's bathroom, and we're still, still, still rebuilding from Hurricane Katrina, so it's sort of not finished yet, but this is the one I'm going to film in today. I'm going to start off by saying that I'm using my BH Cosmetics Cool Shimmer Palette. I hate how much it echoes in here. And you really do want to use a primer because you want all the colors to be very, very vibrant. And I'm going to put a little bit underneath because you want to get these colors underneath your eye as well. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to go Roy G. Biv. If you don't know what that is, it's the colors of the rainbow. I'm going to Roy G. Biv and I'm going to start with the red on the outside because I think red closer in your eye gonna look kind of crazy. But so here is the palette. Now I, I like to mix and match some of the colors so I'm going to use this red right here as my first little color. And I'm using just a very very little brush. So my mirror is right in front of me so I'm going to be looking off to the side. Let me just show you what I'm working with here. This kind of sucks. So this is the bathroom and there's no mirror at all. None, it's just blank wall. So I have like sort of ghetto fabulous mirror hung up. Building after hurricane release really, really sucks. And I'm just going to do the lid of my eye. I'm not doing the full eye and I'll show you exactly why I'm going to do this. And here again, you can be a little sloppy with it because I'm going to go all the way down and I'm just sort of dot right underneath my eye. See? You can see it goes all the way. And you want to make it as vibrant as you can the first go around so you don't have to go back through all your colors. Okay, so there is my red. Looks kind of weird. It'll look okay in the end, trust me. Now I'm going to do my orange. 
that's the orange that I'm going to use right there. See, it's really, really bright. And you want a lot of product on your brush in order to make this work. And it is a-okay if all your colors overlap. Okay, so now you have your orange and now you're going to do yellow. So there are all kind of yellows on this side. I sort of just mix and match. There's not a particular one that I like better than the other. And I'm going to say again, make sure that you sort of dot down under. If you want to just paint straight little lines, that works too. So there's your yellow color. Now you're going to go for your G, which is green. And I like the brightest green. You can see it right in the middle. And I like that the green is right in the middle of your eye. It really, really does make it pop. And another thing that I really, really, really like about this color palette is the colors don't fall all over the place. It really stays where you put them. Now you're going to go for your B. With this, I like the turquoise blue right there. I'm going to blend the turquoise blue and the royal blue. see notice what it's see if you can see notice how cool it looks already it looks really fun I is indigo and V is violet so I just sort of do one purple because my eyes really aren't that big for two separate purples so I just pick a purple that I like the best and here is I like the dark purple right there See, it's starting to come along there. Okay, so this is what your look is so far. But you can't just leave it like this. It's going to look a bit weird. And I really, really wanted it to look like a sky. So I'm going to use my Bare Minerals color, Cherish. And it's the most perfect purple. I think I use it in almost every tutorial. And I wanted to make my eyes look like a New Orleans sunset. So I'm going to use this purple right up here. And it's just going to look like sky. And any sort of like mess that you have where you went too high, that'll sort of clean it up right there. <laughs> any sky would be incomplete without clouds. So I'm going to use my Sephora White. And the color is called Aspen Summit. And I'm just going to do this little highlight right there under my brow bone. And there is your rainbow look. Now I have to put on some mascara. I'm going to use the Clinique High Lengths Mascara. It looks like this. Sort of an odd shaped little wand, but I really like it. And you want to also make sure that you get your lower lash line. And with this wand, it's really, really easy to do. And now you have some eyelashes. And I'm going to use my MAC eyeliner in Graph Black. It's the crank that I love so much. And it also brings in the colors if you did too much on the bottom. It sort of brings that in. And for my last step, I'm going to use Kat Von D eyeliner. It is very, very small. Little brush. See that? Tiny, tiny. So it really is going to make a fine line. You do not want a thick line for your top. And now you have it, there's your look. Final step, Lady Gaga's pink lipstick. Thanks for watching guys. See ya, bye.